Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to talk about a challenge that's facing employees, employers and the wider well-being of everyone involved. According to a recent report by PeopleSafe, which is an awesome report about safety concerns, 6.8 million employees have safety concerns at the forefront of their minds, which is over 1 in 5 each week. This is a huge number and shows that concerns for safety and experience that makes the employees fearful are too common across the workforce. I'm going to go through today some facts and statistics as a reminder of what's going on today in our industry. As someone who personally cares about the well-being of employees, I want to share some interesting and concerning statistics from the most recent report that highlights the challenges facing employees, employers and the wider community. It is not uncommon for employees to have an experience that makes them feel unsafe during their day-to-day -day working or whilst commuting. Often, employees are put in harm's way and left to take action on their own to make themselves feel safer. This is happening for an awful lot of employees, whether they are in the front line or in lone working rows. I'm sure many of you would think this is unacceptable and needs to be addressed. Not only does this affect employees in the moment that they are feeling unsafe, but it changes how they think and act. Some employees will change where they park or how they commute. Some will even leave their jobs or refuse to take up important frontline jobs out of fear. This is a problem for both the employees and the employers. Safety concerns of employees and prospective recruits mean that employers trying to fill or retain staff in frontline roles face an uphill battle. Their employees are less satisfied in all aspects of their work if they feel unsafe and others are less willing to take on roles if they have safety fears. Wouldn't it be great to see more jobs just advertised with safe working practices in the job description to give confidence to the new employee? Some employers are seen to be failing their employees by not acting to address these concerns. They're not recognising its impact on the employee's well-being or on how they recruit and retain staff, and often they're not recognising there is a concern at all both a lack of understanding of the issues and knowledge from employers on how they act is creating a gap between what employees really want and what they actually get. This cannot be levied though at the door of security or health and safety. This is a business-wide issue that needs to be adopted from the C-suite through all leadership and is included in the company values to keep people safe. But this can only be resolved by action from employers underpinned by strong and coordinated interventions from the government and the regulators. Adopting technology to support employees would prove an accessible and effective additional level of protection for employees and demonstrate an employer's commitment to act now. Furthermore, stronger guidance and information for both employers on what they should do and the employees and what they should expect will provide more certainty and help address the growing gap we have found between the employee's concerns and the employee's actions. Safety concerns for employees do not need to continue. There are steps that employees want to see taken and will respond well to. It will make employees feel safer and improve their views of their employers. This is research into perceptions of employee safety and its findings must be a start of a new era of focus to make employees feel safer. If we see this moment, this opportunity will not only improve the well-being of millions of people across the country, but would also set a stronger foundation for employers to help people recognise there is a concern at all. So, I say with a passion to all the employers out there, please take action to address the safety concerns of your employees. It's not just good for them, but it's also good for your business. And to all the employees out there, speak up, have a voice, make yourself heard. You deserve to feel safe at work. Let's not just limit this though just to physical security either. 41% of employees experience mental health issues as a work. With workload and working hours being the most commonly cited reasons, it's clear that the well-being of employees needs to be a priority for employers, not just for their physical safety, but also for their mental health. So what can be done to address these concerns? Well, employers need to take action to make their workplaces safer and more secure for their employees. This can include implementing protection solutions such as safety devices, security cameras and emergency response systems. These solutions can provide an additional level of protection for employees and demonstrate an employer's commitment to their safety. 
Employers can also, of course, provide stronger guidance and information for employees on what they should expect regarding safety and well-being at work. This can help to bridge the gap between an employee's concerns and an employer's action, providing more certainty for everyone involved. And of course, governments and regulators also have a role to play in addressing safety concerns in the workplace. They can provide stronger guidance for employers on what they should do to make their workplaces safer and more secure. They can also provide additional resources for employees to help them feel safer, such as safety training and support programs. Let's not forget though, as employees, we also have a responsibility to speak up and make our voices heard. If we have safety concerns, we should bring them to the attention of our employers and work together to find solutions. We deserve to feel safe at work and we should not be afraid to speak up and about our concerns. Before I conclude, let me give some context. Since 1995, I have advocated in retail the need for two people to open and close a shop and in corporate, zero loan working in offices. And I have been asked many times during my career to change that policy to allow for just one person due to payroll costs and constraints, which I have many times refused and supported with a business case. And I want to thank many retail directors out there, office managers who have always supported me and then continue to support it now. A big thank you to you and thank you for keeping your people safe. We cannot underestimate the intentions of safe working practices in the face of challenging financial periods. For those that are tempted, already reduce your people, stop. Just stop, evaluate and check in on those topics and be prepared to reverse your thinking in favour of your staff safety. In conclusion though to this session, Safety concerns in the workplace are a serious issue that affects millions of employees every week, every day. Employers, government and regulators all have a role to play in addressing these concerns and making our workplaces safer and more secure. By taking action to address safety concerns, we can improve the well-being of millions of people across the country and set a stronger foundation for employers to help recognise the importance of people's safety. Hey, thank you so much to everybody for listening in, and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos and topics on this matter.